with the recent U Bowl Chronicles event, or whatever it's called, we got this card right here, Vision Hero Poisoner, which I think is the most interesting card out of that new event. Now, the event's unfortunately over. I want this video out sooner, but unfortunately, I was not able to because I was pretty busy this week. So, Vision Hero Poisoner, not particularly a great card, but it's still kind of cool. So, if you take battle or effect damage while this card's in your graveyard, you place this card from your graveyard to your spell and trap zone as a continuous trap. During the main phase, if this this card, if this card is treated as a continuous trap, you contribute one hero monster special summon this card. If this card is special summoned from the spell and trap zone, you can half the attack of one face of monster on the field. Pretty interesting effect. Again, not like amazing, but still kind of cool. It's a dark, so it has some synergy with the regular hero stuff, with the mass heroes, and with uh, which we call it this guy, the infamous brave news, because you want it in the graveyard. So yeah, I am playing news fusion, but y you kind of need to get it in the grave as quick as possible. Otherwise, there's nothing. Also playing Solid Soldier, just to try it out. Solid Soldier can Special Summon Poisoner or Special Summon Vision Hero Vion. Vion, Sin Poisoner. That's kind of cool. Um, this deck, honestly, just like looking at it, kind of looks like it's just like a worse version of the standard Destiny Hero Master Hero deck. Because you have this, which is basically just your Drill Dark. And then this, which is just like a worse Celestial because it has a similar, it has a Grave effect. Not a similar effect, but something in the Grave. Uh, yeah, Bacon Saver and Neos for the Neos Fusion. Cosmic Cyclone for cheese decks. Uh, playing Mass Change as well. I'm also playing the Earth Mass Hero, which is Dion, which is interesting. So you special summon level four from your deck, right? When you summon this guy, yeah, kind of cool. Special summon Dion or special summon uh, Solid Soldier. You know, you can do something. And then Econ and Treacherous just for like the you know traps, so to say. So yeah, uh, ties that bind because I want to use Jaden. Only reason, honestly. Uh, and I have not tested this deck out, but in theory, since you're playing Neos Fusion, like, you just summon Neos, and you should be okay. So, yeah, I haven't played in a couple days, unfortunately. Um, I completely missed the end of the bingo event, which I'm really upset about, because I wanted to get those gems. I think I would've got, like, 200 and something gems if I finished it, but I just wasn't able to finish the board. Didn't have time. Anyway, we're at Legend now, too. I don't know if I recorded a video since hitting Legend on Duel Links and doing a lot of, you know, TCG stuff lately. So, yeah, we're going second against Odeon. Let's see, we got, got the Super Poly Sleeves. Wonder if that's going to be added to the game. Also, tomorrow, as I'm recording this, actually. I should be releasing this the same day I'm recording it, though. Dark Sides of Dimension comes out. Dark Side Dimensions World. Really excited for that. There's rumors that Mokuba is going to have Thunder Dragons. This is drops, like the newer Thunder Dragon stuff from Soul Fusion and TCG. I am so looking forward to that, if that's the truth. Is that all, That'll be a really fun deck. So two sets, and anything else? Set monster. I wonder if this is Subterra. I feel like it might be. We draw Solid Soldier. I'm literally gonna double cycle in here. Let's see what he's playing. Treacherous, or not Treacherous. Floodgate Travel. Okay. This is the other one. Banish this. D Fissure, or D Prison. Okay. Go so for the Neo Fusion. Send the Poisoner, so our Poisoner is live in Grave. Get our Beat Stick. So send Poisoner and send the Neos. I guess in retrospect, now that I think about it, running Bacon Saver is not really necessary because I'm gonna want to send Poisoner a lot of the times. I guess it's not terrible. Bacon Saver is arguably one of the best Neo Fusion targets, so you know we'll take it. Uh, I will summon this. We'll set you. Only has 1300. Thought I had 1800. Okay, I'm going to attack with the Neos then. Also search for the Neos Fusion if I kill a monster. It's a Decider. Interesting. So is it like a trap-heavy Master Hero deck maybe? I have a Treacherous set, so I, I should be okay. Uh, they have one card in hand. And when you're playing Master Heroes, you need at least two cards to do anything. So hopefully they don't have Hero plus Mass Change. Set a card. They have Neos Fusion. Okay. Um, that's fine. I might actually Treacherous here and kill my own monster because next time I can just run over them. So what else do they send? They sent a Celestial. So they're going to draw two here. Okay. Oh no, they can't draw two. It's, you can't use Celestial the same turn, of course. Should I Treacherous here? Next turn I kill it. I'm going to Treacherous here. Kind of a weird play. That is his that I'm selecting, right? Yeah, okay. Well, you know, he might actually redeclare. No, he's not gonna redeclare because we both have the same attack. Oh, he does redeclare! 
You mad lad. What was the point of that? I did not think he would redeclare. I just did that so I can Neo's Fusion next turn. Uh, kill his Neos with mine, then have a second one. I guess I could have brought back Poisoner too. By tributing something. That was a weird duel. I don't know. Gonna try to get Cog before the season ends. I believe we have five days. So, I should, I don't know. The thing with like hitting Cog is you just kind of sit down and do it. You know? Like it takes at least 15 duels. Which you figure each duel is like at least five minutes. That's, you know, on the fast end, that's at least like an hour and a half. But like, I don't know, dude. That's if you win every game too. Usually if you lose any, it takes longer. I don't remember the last time I hit Cog. Because I've, I've, for like the entire year up until last month, say so like actually back into Duel Links, I like barely played the game. I think last time I hit Cog was probably a year and a half ago. I want to say it was like April, May of 2018. That's the last time I actually like went for it too. I remember actually going last time I went for it actually it was uh it was July now that I think about it. And I was playing Psychic because it was early in the season, that's when I stopped playing, July 2018. That's when I stopped playing like super super consistently. I picked it up every now and then. And now we're back. So some of the chicken. Is this fortune ladies? With beatdown? Okay. So we have a pretty good hand here. Special the chicken, set one pass. Oh, we have a very good hand here. Use the effect. Slash summon poisoner. They have a, a live back row. So I wonder if it's a treacherous. No matter what it is, it's fine. Slash summon poisoner. Okay. They have something. Alright, now let's think here. Let's mass change. Sending the poisoner. Summon you. And I guess now we can Neo's Fusion and send the Bacon Saver instead. Canadia. Okay. That's fine. I can be super greedy and just Econ take and win. I'm gonna- I'm probably gonna do that. Honestly. <laughs> like, I have no reason not to. Send you. Uh, we're going to send the Bacon Boy. And you. Summon you. Now, for Poisoner, do I have to tribute a face up? Uh... Or do I have to take battle damage for that to happen? For it to summon, and then I tribute to half the attack. Okay. I'm gonna Econ take. Just so I can get the win. Like, I don't even care. I'll just tribute this. Actually, I should have tribute. It doesn't really matter. Probably should have tributed the face down. To play around Sphere Kribo a little bit more. But, I don't think they're gonna have it. I don't think they're gonna have it. Do they have it? They don't have it. Okay, so I have no idea what they were playing. I guess it still could have been Aging Gears with Cockle Doodle Doo. I, I guess it is Tribute Fodder. Maybe? Is that a thing? I've never seen that though. Before. Aging Gears with Cockle Doodle Doo. Let's see. Let's let's see their deck list. I believe if I win this next game too, I'll go to Legend 2. And I think the way it works now is you don't drop from Legend 2. Oh, it's Psychics. Duh. I love that deck. Or not Psy Psychics. You know what I mean? Like Psychics. Like <laughs> Psychics. I like actual Psychics. Yeah, I play like multiple Psychic Monsters. But yeah. Uh, I'm pretty sure if we win, we go to Legend 2, and the way it works now is you don't drop from Legend 2 to Legend 1, you only drop from Legend 3 to Legend 2. So that makes it a lot easier at COG now that I think about it. That's pretty cool. Get some gems too for hitting Legend 2. Oh, we don't get it on this duel. I thought it was 3 and then you get it. I don't know. Maybe the first one like doesn't count. Um, this is a Neo Suja, not a mass change. Let's activate. Actually, let's do this first. Let's just establish a board. Slash so someone poisoner in defense mode. Uh, I can econ take something if I need to. Watch you bring my poisoner. Whenever I see Kaiba lately, I think Metaphys. And I just I just don't like playing against Metaphys because like I just have no idea what's going on half the time. <laughs> like, we'll send a bacon boy. I can always econ take my poisoner, like I said. 
Although, I don't know how common, uh... Metaphysics will be in Legend. Like, I saw them a lot in Plat. I don't know if they're, like, a deck that's really viable in, like, a Legend setting. Because, you know, the lower the ranks, the, the more viable decks become, if that makes sense. Alright, let's see what we got. It's gotta be Beatdown, though. Like, if you're playing Kava, you're playing Beatdown. Right? Christrons. Okay. So what is going on here? You target one phase of party control, you can also show monsters with the extra request turns of Christian Secret Monsters. Also destroy this grave, you special one Christian tuner from your deck. Banish your from your graveyard, add one Christian spell trap from your deck to your hand. Okay, so I'm gonna econ take something so they can't synchro. Because Christian's like they they just synchro. So your opponent's main phase or battle phase, you can target one non tuner monster giver, special summon it, but has effects negated if any. If you do, maybe if this effect resolves, synchro summon one Okay, yeah, I gotta I gotta econ take now. They took their normal summon. They shouldn't really have a play. I have Poisoner in Grave, which is uh, gonna be live. And set one. Set two. Jeez. How do you have two sets after all that? Another Poisoner. Okay. I'm gonna summon the Poisoner. I'm walking right into a wall of D. I, I acknowledge that. But I'm doing it anyway. Okay, I think they have a treacherous. No, they don't. They would have activated it there, wouldn't they? We got a baking boy. Neos fusion. Um, I'm gonna actually attack with the Neos first, as a my pumpkaboo plush fell off my desk, because they they have two sets. They have something to stop my my lethal, right? So I'd rather get the kill with Grave Neos and get my Neos fusion. Okay, so you're gonna bring back a level three, and then synchro summon. Can you summon Armadies with this? What is this? You can change all special monsters to the defense position. Okay, that's fine. I have a poison in grave. Yeah, we're okay. They still have two sets though, which is worrying me. Yeah, my Poisoner should be live next turn. I think Poisoner's a relatively new card in the TCG as well. Because I remember in uh, a set called Battles of Legends Heroes Revenge, I think it's called. That came out this past uh, May, June, somewhere around there. Uh, There's a lot of Vision Hero support. I know, like, Ferris was, like, the good one. I don't remember what it does, though. Poisoner, I'm pretty sure, was in there. But a lot of them have things where, like, they come back as continuous traps, which is kind of weird. I guess like Crystal Beast do a similar thing where they come back as continuous spells. But you don't really see a lot of cards that are monsters that come back as continuous traps. Really weird. I wonder why they take trap instead of spell. Alright, another Christian thing. Another Citri. The only Christian I know is Rosenix. Because Rosenix is like the best one because you banish it for a token. When it's in the grave. That's the best one. Gungnir's in this game? Really? Gungear is a super cool card. You're gonna destroy two cards I control. I want to protect it. I don't know why you would pick it. I'd just pick the other two, then force out the protection when I when you attack. You know. Unless you can pick it twice. I only discarded one card, so you can't. Okay. We need to beat down. Please kill my poisoner. That is lowest attack. <laughs> Please kill it. No, you're gonna attack that. Like, uh... okay. I guess they want to force the bacon saver. I think the smartest play would have been to attack the solid soldier. Just do damage. I'm not gonna protect it. Like, I guess they really want to uh, bait that out though. We draw the mass change. That is a fantastic draw. All right, let's go for this. All right. Uh, I'll leave it on auto. Right, let's stack with uh, this guy first. This is on summon, or I was once per turn. Jeez, Gungnir. Such a cool card. Or Legacy Clash. Did you activate it at the right time? Can I... Can, oh no, you, why are you targeting that? I'm gonna continue my attack. 
For 3k? They have something. I might have to mass change into Dion then, or Dion, whatever it's called. Just my solid soldiers, sol solid soldiers not sitting there at zero. We have a sphere? Christian entry? So I'll summon two Christian tombs for your hand, one for your graveyard, during the course of except. Is there any advantage from graveyard? Okay, so I'll summon two. And then are we gonna synchro right away? Like. Continue attack. Let's hit the tuner. He's brave, Neos. They're gonna have zero cards now, although I believe that trap has a grave effect. And I'm kind of forced to mass change to Dion here. Because I, I can't leave a monster that weak out. You know? So Dion's seeing some action. So I just post on her balance of the graveyard, especially my level 4 lower hero from my deck. Not bad. 28 to the face. Gungnir is going to come back. Kind of forgot about Gungnir. But the thing is, like, he's going to have to discard whatever he draws. And he can't he can't out my Dion and my uh, Brave Neos. We get the tuner. We get the level, the uh, token. What else does he have? I guess he has beatdown, so he could get over both. But I have, I have new decision in hand, so I should be okay. And if Poisoner goes to Grave, then that, that's okay. Alright, so the trap does have a Grave effect. Target one Christian monster control, so one Christian monster from your deck the Grave is level is different than that monster, and if you do that monster, okay, so you change the levels. Okay. So the token's gonna go up. So I'm guessing he has like a tuner in hand. Or a way to get to a tuner. So he's not going to use Gunganir's effect. But he can't get out Quandex. Quandex needs two tuners. And it's level 9. So yeah, I think it's level 9. In Quandex, right? No. Maybe it's 11. If it's 11, then he has to send a level 2 and then have a level 2 in hand. Oh, you're kidding me. Did you really top deck a level 2? Did you really top deck a level 2? Just from one Christian tuner from your deck. That's a 3. 5. 12. Maybe it's 12. Going for the 5. Gonna switch them all to defense mode, right? That's okay. I take less damage. Cool. And you can't get over my... Actually, you can't because level 5. Never mind. This is fine. This is actually fine. If you kill Poisoner, I win. If you kill these two, I win. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Leaves the Poisoner. Makes sense. Give me a mass change here. Give me a Poisoner, okay. Let's go Neos Fusion. Summon you. Going to send the Neos, of course. And I guess I'll send Vion. I don't want to draw it. Alright, so Gungnir's one to turn this card. The Synchro Summon card search for battle. You target one Christian monster, give your skip Synchro Monster Special Summon it. I gotta put this in defense mode. And I gotta kill the Gungnir. Actually, I just don't have to kill Gungnir. Because I can just protect myself. So I'm gonna kill the Christian card. Yeah. Use the effects. Doesn't really matter because I can't get a third one out. Oh, I thought it was if this card destroys an opponent's monster, you can special summon. Wow, I misread that. That might cost me the game now. That might cost me the game. But I don't think they can get over my Brave Neos. I really don't. I just want to, like, resolve Poisoner's effect. Like, just kill my Poisoner so I can use it. Please. Or give me, let me draw an Econ so I can Econ take and then use it. Actually, no, that doesn't work. Just kill it. Using Gungnir. Gonna target 
Neos. Gonna use Neos Fusion, of course. I need to top take a mass change. I think I only used one, so I have two left in deck. And I have a poisoner in hand, so I can summon that if I need to. Just go into defense mode. Okay. We have game here with Poisoner, which is funny. Great top deck. In case we don't win this turn. And <laughs> we're gonna Poisoner for game. Not gonna use the effect, but uh, you know. It's gonna attack for game at least. So that's something. We did it. Poisoner. <laughs> See, like, it's actually a lot harder to use Poisoner effect than I thought it would be. Because we have to take battle damage, right? You take battle card, but yeah, if you take battle damage, like it's hard to pull off. But I guess if you do, it's nice because it has like a clash-like effect where you lower attack. You know, that's kind of cool. Probably better just to, you know, play any other hero variant. But it can do something in the future if we get more vision hero stuff. Maybe it'll be good. I know we have um, what's the vision hero where you like tribute traps, and then pop every spell card in the field? It was played in uh, Amazonus when Amazonus like first came out. I forgot what it was called, Vision Hero something. That card was really good, but it doesn't really synergize like with any of the Vision Hero stuff. I mean, the, there's only two in the game right now. Or two main deck ones. Because there's Trinity, which is in the extra deck. I don't know, Vision Heroes are weird. Alright, my turn. So, let's see. Uh, let's go Soldier to Vion. Set two. Send the Poisoner. Yeah, let's do that. And we'll set two. And we'll pass turn. Gonna Cosmic. Gonna hit my middle one. They always hit the middle one. I should stop setting the middle. Like, I always say that. Like, oh, they always hit the middle. I should just stop setting everything in the middle. And they end their turn. I'm gonna end phase cosmic you. Whenever I see Zane, I still think of Cyber Style, even though Cyber Style is like super nerfed. Uh, do we win here? 26, 36. Three, six, nine. Yeah, I win here. Because these will go to 19, right? Oh, they go to 16. That's still a game anyway. They have a Sphere Kariba. One hundred life points. Okay. Zane sounds so weird in this game. Oh, they're actually playing Cyber Style. What? Straight to battle phase. The heck? Cyber and Dragon attack multiple times. If a piercing damage, you can't kill me this turn, can you? Let's have a second one? But no, what can you summon? I cosmic! Wow! I mean I had to cosmic there because I would have got treacherous if I didn't. That was a funny game. Cause I'm like, oh he's what is he saying? I think it's Cyber Style. Nobody plays Cyber Style anymore. Hi Cyber Style. Wow. I don't think I could have done there. <laughs> that was really funny though. I don't know why that wasn't a rank up game. Is it five, not three? Oh, it's five, not three for the rank up. That's why. Okay. I remember now. It's three for the lower ranks, but five for legend. I said that earlier that it would take 15. I'm like, oh, it did three. Why didn't it count? Anyway, we'll do one more duel. I really want to get the poisoner effect, but not looking like it. Not looking like it. Joey, really? Is it Field of the Warriors? Good. That's free if it is. All right, so we get the attack boost. Nice. All right, so we're going to buy on. Yeah, this is actually pretty good, because we're going to Vion send Poisoner, and then hopefully they attack over my Vion. So we bring this back. Very nice. Set Econ, and the turn. wonder if they're playing six Sams. Sometimes I, like, when I see Joey Sogan, I see people play like six Sams, because I think it's like a good idea to do that. It's not really a good idea to play. Like, Sogan, I feel like... You know, the Warriors in general, I should say, is just not a good skill because there's so many Warriors that you just help your opponent, and it is 6 damage. 
Okay. Alright, we have to Econ take something. Just so they don't get out, uh... The Synchro. But I don't think they have it. Yeah, they don't have it. That's probably not dual wield. Okay. Kill my Vion, that's fine. Poisoner's effect's gonna activate. Here we go. We did it. We got Poisoner. And the spell and trap zone. There we go. Let's see what we get. Something good? No. That is something terrible. Um. Ah, I should have set this to pass. That's so bad, though. Yeah, that's that's the downfall of Neo stacks. Is like they 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 brick. Yeah, you don't want to draw Neo. So you don't want to draw Bacon Saver. It's three cards right there you just don't want to draw. Kind of a problem. I was going to make a video, instead of using this deck, I was going to use uh, a Cyberdark deck, because I just really like that deck, I've been using it a bit. I'm using Cyberdark, unfortunately, to like, ladder up. Uh, but I was like, you know, let's do this deck, it's it's a new deck, kind of, because you got Poisoner. Let's try it out. Straight for Battle Phase. That is fine. Kill my Bacon Saver, don't really care. I have an activatable card here. I wonder if it's Clash. I think you could activate Clash in that situation. Okay. Interesting. I mean, this isn't ideal, but we can do something kind of funny here. Unless they stop us. Social Poisoner. Oh, wait, what? I didn't mean to do that. Oops. I meant to special summon my Poisoner. But I didn't mean to use Poisoner's effect. My bad. Wait, why did I just summon two of them? I'm so confused. Oh yeah, because Poisoner summons itself. I don't know why I thought it destroyed itself. This is my first time actually resolving the effect. <laughs> so, yeah, we uh, we did it. We did it. And now we're going to walk into a War Legacy Clash. Let's kill the Kazaru. It's a wall of D. Okay. Yeah, I think I lose. Remember when I said, oh, Field of the Warriors, it's free? And then I just lose because I walk into a wall of D? I remember that. I thought it was Clash. He might have a Clash too, though. I mean, either way, if I thought he had Clash, it was still a bad idea to attack. I just did it anyway. <laughs> so... What is this? I gotta take that. I gotta take that. I can't let you synchro. I can't let you synchro. And not let you synchro. What if they're gonna attack it? Some people will do that. They just like, oh, you took my monster, I'm gonna attack it. Like, okay. Okay. Give me something good. <sighs> yeah, we lose. Uh, <laughs> I mean, that's 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 Neo decks. You know, you just don't you draw cards you, you don't want to draw. That's what happens if you put cards in your deck that you don't want to draw. You bad things happen when you draw them. And we just lost to this six samurai deck. If you want to call it that? So yeah, that's the deck. Interesting deck. Uh, Poisoner's not that great but it has a, it, it's a unique effect we'll give it that i tried it uh solid soldier was pretty decent that's a, I, I want this card to be good like i feel like it could be good solid soldier i don't know i like the deck though despite you know drawing mass change with no target neos in general and you know bacon saver so yeah that's it for today thank you for watching if you like if you enjoyed let me know in the comments down below if you're excited about the dark side dimensions world i plan on having a video out tomorrow whenever that world releases Seeing what the new drops are, maybe some farming videos. Definitely excited for that because I love when they add new worlds to this. 
it's not Zexel, which people are upset about, but I'm fine with it. You know, I'd rather them release something than rush something out, you know? Because, you know, if they release Zexel, just... If they had the yearly release cycle, that would mean a year from now we're getting pendulums. It's, it's just too soon for this game. I, I don't know how they would do pendulums in this game. Either way, I'm rambling. That's it for today. Thank you for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new. I'll see you guys later. And bye-bye.